got some nice sunflowers growing. Today I'm hoping to at least get a good start on the third and final section of this video. Basically our goal is to take all this material back off the wall and I'm instead of laying it in rows this way like I did because I didn't have enough room because it, it ends over there I'm going to lay them this way so we'll have much more distance and my goal for tonight uh, it's it's a nice cool evening I'm going to try to do this all tonight get it all laid out and depending on how it goes, I might start construction tonight or do it in the morning. But I, I want to get it done all in one push because I don't want to have to stack everything back on the wall again. <laughs> and usually when I do a project like this, I come out and do a few pieces. And then tomorrow I'll come out and do a few pieces and, and so on. But I'm trying to capture this on video, so I kind of need to do it in long enough sections that that it's interesting <laughs> and then we will start placing the rocks I have a lot of rocks to place on there and so for right now I'm gonna climb up on the ladder I'm gonna position the camera and capture the glorious process of laying everything out in that pattern like we did last time <laughs> Well, we got them all laid out. I'll show it to you from up here because I really couldn't get it all, all in again. So basically, as you're looking from right to left is thickness, each column up and down. And then, yeah, from, well, if you, if you look at the rows, you'll see that the same shape pieces go from left to right and the thickness rows go from up and down as you're looking at the, the video screen. So yeah, I, I still almost didn't have enough yard. So some of these, there's only one or two of. It'll be interesting to see how it goes together. So tomorrow, uh, we'll start putting it together. Actually, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking tonight we'll start putting it together. I think we made some pretty good progress. It's getting kind of dark, but you can see it starting to take shape. It's actually getting pretty tall. I'm having to be really careful with balance because if you can imagine straight, like if you were to drill a hole straight through the sculpture at every given point, which we're not gonna do, but you want it to be supported. So I'm seeing here, there's an awful lot overhanging out on that far end. So I need to start bringing it back and have it overhanging this way. All imagining it centered on a, to me it's an imaginary central point. And the goal is to have roughly equal weight on all sides. And it's, it's kind of tricky, like I said, we're using I've never done this before with this many variety of pieces, trying to uh, put them together in such a way. See, it started down there. That's almost like the ground now. <laughs> it's, it's getting up there, but you can see I still have all that left, all this material. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna try to come out here real, real early because I wanna get this off the grass before the sun heats up the stones. And that's a, an awfully big bite that I'm 
trying to swallow right there, but I'm going to try it. If I can get it all done or most of it done uh, tomorrow morning, that would be awesome. Anyway, I'm going to sign off for tonight. Not the end of the video yet, but just for this section. everybody I'm way too close to the action now <laughs> I don't know how much of that got caught because I I got a lot taller and I think I came out of range of the camera a little bit but you can see we're making uh, pretty good progress I've had to somewhat throw out the idea of thickness just because the pieces are so many different shapes so to get them to work I'm having to do some shimming which uh, I'll show you in one of the, the photo snaps. So you can see what I'm talking about. This is basically putting pieces of really like those bread, the bread bag, the little clips on the bread bags, or even cut up credit cards that are expired. Anything inorganic, fiberglass, works good. But I'm going to have a lot of places for some really nice rocks to display so i'm going to reposition the camera and keep going because i still have not too much left i've definitely gone through probably more than half of it but we've got a ways to go it's cloudy for me which is really nice and nice and cool i'm glad i'm getting done before the sunflowers here um, i don't want the sunflowers to get hurt they're beautiful I don't know if you guys saw my video last year. In fact, it was a sunflower in this very spot, which I will insert here for you because the video really came out cool. I think that's when the pile of cement was still here. So I'll insert a clip of that in uh, much faster motion. These guys are like an army. They're, uh, my neighbor, he had his whole yard full of sunflowers and he did a time lapse. And it just looked like an army marching towards the house because they're growing and moving back and forth. Anyway, we'll keep going here as soon as I find a good place to put the camera. So concludes the construction phase of what turned out to be actually much nicer and much taller than I thought it would be. Uh, I used up, as you can see, 
every single piece. <laughs> I didn't think I'd get it done. These two pieces here actually go with the sculpture in the back corner, so I'll move those over there. And then, yeah, grass is all cleaned off. Nothing left on the wall. I kept looking at the uh, balance and I think we're okay. I can push on it and climb on it and it doesn't seem to move, so. But again, it's all based on an imaginary center point and trying to keep the weight equal all the way around and the same thing when I as I load it with rocks because that's going to hold a lot of rocks anyway I'll uh, end this video with a short clip once the rocks are on it it might take me a few days so by the time I get done the sunflowers might be a little taller <laughs> they're just starting now thanks for sticking with me this far well, a few days have gone by. I've started the process of loading this with rocks. In this case, what you're seeing here is from the Yellowstone River. I thought I had enough from the Yellowstone to completely fill the sculpture, but I don't. So I may bring some stuff over from Cook City and other parts of Montana because it, it makes sense that since this sculpture here is completely full of rocks from the Yellowstone, I want all my other Montana stuff to be here close. So I'm still going to do quite a bit of moving around. But I don't want to make you guys wait for the end of this video. I want to get it posted. So this gives you an idea of what it'll look like. Just on a technical note, for those of you more interested in the construction, I do notice, and I don't know if you can appreciate it in the video, really can't get it the right angle. Here we go. So again, I mentioned that imaginary center line, like if there was a pole drilled through in the exact center, what that would look like. And I believe, as I'm looking at the sculpture now, it overhangs more to the left than it does to the right. So what I do in those cases, and I haven't done it yet, is I have some small pieces of granite and under one of these overhangs, wherever I think it's, it'll have the most effect, I will build a little support, probably with little five inch circles. I'll insert them in there basically to form a column, like a little pillar to just provide some extra support because this overhangs quite a bit. It's really all overhanging in here, which is nice because it gives me a lot of room for some awfully big rocks. But I'm a, a little concerned that if you know, for whatever reason, the sculpture gets too loaded on this side or somebody climbs up on it or something like that. I'd hate to have it fall over. So that is something I have yet to do and just adding a lot more rocks. But basically this is done. I appreciate you watching this video series and the channel in general. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, God bless you. I'll give you a whirl around here because it's really pretty. I've sprinkled seeds around this year. I'm trying to get some greenery and some flowers growing in the gravel and they're taking off beautifully, as you can see here. Thank you guys again. God bless you. Look forward to seeing you soon, either in the comments or visit here in person. You're always welcome.